apart from the non-competitive aspects of this, and there are other aspects I'll mention. I'll mention it very carefully. And the, you the can just wind up on this point, please, Mike. No, no I, 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 seek, an uh, I seek an extension of time, Mr Mayor. A, I've said very little today. OK, let me put that. It's, up, it's in the hands of councillors. Uh, it's been moved uh, by Cathy Second. Casey, uh, seconded by the Quacks, Quacks. Quacks uh, that there be an extension of time. That's two minutes. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against? Yes, you've got another yeah, two minutes. Shoot up a minute. Okay. Um, no, your Mr. two Mayor, minutes are in addition to that. <laughs> Mr Mayor, this is very, very important. Your name's going to be on this, you know, and I think um, you need to realise that regional parks are protected in this way because they are so valued um, by people of Auckland, whatever political <coughs> philosophy they might have. Now, the Ordering Council... Um, states that no part of the park um, can, or the park must be protected in perpetuity from disposition by sale or otherwise. And this encumbrance, and I've had two um, lawyers advise me on this, this encumbrance on the title is legally a disposition. And what I'm telling you, and what I'm warning you, is do not go down this path of rescinding that good resolution because to do so, to, an, to put an encumbrance on Mahurangi Regional Park and all the others that will follow conflicts with the order in council and is clearly unlawful. Before we go any further on this matter, I would seek advice from the Crown Law Office. And I'll leave it at that. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, Councillor Cashmore. Thank you, Mr Mayor. So I will presume that our staff have covered off the Crown Law Office, the level of encumbrance and the detail. Never presume, ask. Well, the regional parks are protected by an order in council. That's absolutely correct and absolutely fine and perfect for what we are trying to achieve with them. Here we have a position of a gain of potentially up to 500 hectares over time of extra planting of trees, which saves us time and budgets. We are constrained, you've heard that in length this morning. This particular company doesn't have to be the only one in the field. There will be more and more plane companies, airlines, trucking companies trying to sequester carbon as time goes on until we find a new source of energy to power our mobility. This sequestration is just a question of carbon. It is not property ownership. There is a legal term on the title. But there are lots of legal terms on people's titles. It is not something to be afraid of. It's common practice. And this enables us to advance a planting program for the benefit not only of our regional parks, but of our environment, indeed of our nation, at a faster rate than what we otherwise could. Um, there is a win-win here. The legal aspects have been ticked off. Greenfleet is protecting its contributors um, by this encumbrance. And that's, that is perfectly right and clear that they would do so. It enables them to actually attract more people to help us plant more trees to add more environmental gain. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Cashmore. We have Councillor Cooper. I have no other indication of speakers at this point, so if you want to speak on it... Just quite uh, I mean, some of the things have been said thank um, you, well Councillor by Cooper. Councillor Cashmore. However, I just want to remind people we're not putting enough money into weed management in our regional parks. This company's going to do it for us. We've got to save money. Well, this company's going to do a whole lot of things for us that we can't afford to do now because we're cutting the rates, which is what people want to do. We're not cutting the rates, but cutting not the increases. Not paying our legal bills. Cutting the increases. But then it's very prudent of us to spend money to have legal staff so we are doing things properly and we're not caught out. So I don't begrudge our legal services staff because they're actually steering us in the right direction. We've got to do that in our decision making. Um, for me, you know, if, if we're sequestering carbon from, you know, we're still going to be flying around in planes for a while. And unless Councillor Walker's going to row to, to his next international conference, I don't know what else we're going to do, but this is one um, way of offsetting that. Point it's of order, really important. Mr. Chair, it's really important. Sorry, Mr. There's Chairman. a point of order. I have yeah. to take a point of order. It's a point of order. Point of order, Councillor Walker. 
It's entirely uh, inappropriate for another councillor to slang someone else, another councillor, oh, in there sorry. Sorry. in this debate. It's better if we don't go there. I don't think it's contrary to standing orders, but uh, yeah, it I'm does sorry. mean just, that we uh, break up the speech. People have been doing speech. that to me today, yeah. so I've obviously, okay. you know, I won't follow Let's that. Let's all so, try to behave better. So just the, the reality is, for me, is this will help us plant lots of trees. We need to do it, but it'll also help with our fencing and our weed management, and that is crucial in our regional park. So I do support it. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Councillor Cooper. Councillor Simpson, you're I'm, taking a call? I'm just going to ask the one question that uh, Councillor Cashmore assumed to help Councillor Lee. Have we gone to the Crown Law Office? Um, no. Uh, through you, Mr Chair, no. Yes. Um, we've had um, our legal team and independent legal advice on this matter. Thank you. Same Can I... No, no further... Uh, Can I just make one more point, oh. Mr. Mr Mayor? I want to express my serious well, concern so, so, that sorry, the people sorry, who Councillor. negotiated the steel Councillor. were personal friends. Councillor, and Councillor, I think that's no, a very no. bad process. No, I'm not naming names. Councillor, please. I'm not naming names. Councillor, you have not got process. the floor. If I start making exceptions in every debate to allow somebody to breach standing orders to take another speech, then everybody will do it and this council won't get anywhere. So I must enforce that standing order. You get a call and it's one call unless there's an extension and councillor you had a call and an extension. Can I just make, I don't start off uh, on this issue with any particular prejudice one way or the other except for the fact that I want to see more trees planted in Auckland. That was part of the things that I campaigned on. And if we've got 500 hectares of, uh, of land in our parks that can be planted, and we're only planting eight hectares a year, we're not going to get there very fast. So I'm, I'm looking not simply for one company to enter into this sort of agreement with council. I'm looking for as many companies that want to come to us that will plant the sort of trees we want and the places we want them uh, as quickly as possible at no cost to the council. So it can be a win-win for us. Now, I've tried to get my head around the question of the encumbrance. And if you look at the original uh, report, it said Greenfleet wanted to be protected from a sale of the relevant land to a third party who was unaware of the agreement with the council. That's what Greenfleet's agenda is. And actually, we have already entered into contractual uh, and a contractual agreement with Greenfleet that we will not allow the tree to be cut down for 50 years in return for them expending the money and planting the trees. Now, what the encumbrance does, as I read it, uh, as a bush lawyer rather than a properly qualified one, is simply make that agreement uh, clear to anybody who might wish to purchase the land. Now, I am. I am. It's an order in council. Order, councillor. Councillor, you have not got it's the not call. It's not for privatisation. Councillor, can you please maintain order? The point I was going to make, ironically, given your interruption, was that I hope that this city never sells its reserve land that it's planted. That's what I hope. I hope that this debate is entirely theoretical. But I do understand that if I expect somebody else to expend money on something in return for what I undertake to them, we will make sure that that promise, that undertaking is honoured. And as I see it, that's what Greenfleet is trying to do. If you look at the report as well, it says that the registration of encumbrance on a title is something that Council does frequently. So this is not out of the ordinary. Not on I am relying on the legal counsel, and it is a prominent legal firm that is being used, that notes that an encumbrance is not a property right because it does not convey any interest in the land. So why it's is simply, it simply Councillor, I have asked you several times now, please not to interrupt. Everybody else gave you the courtesy of listening to you when you were speaking so you, you without interruption, and now you've interrupted me continuously. I don't want it to happen again. Thank you. It does not convey any interest in the land. It is simply recording a notice of the arrangement with Greenfleet on the title to the relevant land. On my reading of the information given to us by our officials, this does not in any way lead us to selling reserve land. 
And if anything, it would be a discouragement for somebody buying reserve land if a council in the future was ever unwise enough to want to sell it. And it does not trade away the property right, but it honours the agreement that we have already entered into. And on that basis, I support the recommendation. Now, I'm going to uh, put the recommendation that has been moved and seconded. I'll just have a very quick final... Sorry, as, as the mover of the motion who hasn't spoken, can I call thank on you. Penny Hulse? Thank you. Um, Mr Mayor, I think you've made an excellent summary of that. The, the reality of this is I think we're doing exactly what this new council has undertaken to do, which is to be responsible, <coughs> to be honest and transparent. If we're promising to sequester carbon for 50 years, mm. I fail to understand why we wouldn't sign up mm. to do that for 50 years. And your good summary explains that's that that's exactly what we're going to do. Secondly, we've had lots of speeches today about people looking for alternative ways of funding the critical mm. work of council. Exactly. This does it. We will never reach our 500 hectares of tree planting in our regional parks without help. I think this offers a sound um, way for us to do that. And finally, it isn't monopolistic. We're opening the door now, having done the hard work and working out how we do it, to many other good organisations to do it. And if you look at Green Fleet's supporters, um, Councillor Walker, for those of us who do, when we fly personally, pay the extra to make sure that we have um, planting done on our behalf to offset our carbon footprint, the organisations that utilise Greenfleet's um, um, opportunities that they provide are a very good bunch, including a city called the City of Casey. So how could you do any better? So, you know, the bottom line is I think we, we are getting good advice. We are certainly trying to do the right thing and we are acting with integrity in the whole issue of carbon sequestration. It's the least we can do is to support this. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank, thank you, Councillor. Um, I did say that was your uh, your comment in reply, but I noticed Councillor Casey wanted to take a call and I'm prepared to well, give her that call. Well, I just have a concern. I've listened to the debate. Um, there's two people who I think know more about regional parks than anybody else. One of them is sitting to my left and the other one is absent. But because of, because of their... I think uh, Christine Fletcher was on the working party and may have been the other person who objected. So it was 3-2, so there's a fine balance. Um, they've introduced for me a worry, and my way round that worry is just simply to get a, a, to get an opinion from the Crown Law Office. And if that Crown Law Office is favourable, then I'm prepared to support this. But right now, he's got two legal opinions that say one thing. We've got a legal opinion that says another. Crown Law Office can sort it. OK, thank you, Councillor. Um, that's, uh, that's the last of our speakers, so I'm going to put the resolution, which is the original resolution, uh, uh, given that we had no resolution from the working party. Don't move that as an amendment. No, well, I, sorry, Mr Mayor, as the, sorry. As the mover, I, and I do have to admit, I think in the new year I will need glasses. I can read perfectly up close, but I can't read that. I think we do need to just make that slight tweak, which actually just says that we, we support this. I don't, you know, the, the working party, by a margin, supported the fact that those issues had in fact been addressed. So we're recommending yep. that we do this. Let's get on so, with it. So what's, what, what yeah. change are you seeking, Councillor? I, if we can just, I think Dean Kempton came okay. up with a very sensible So approach. let's just wait till it goes up, because I'm watching it on my screen, as you are. To approve. Yeah. To, can we have some words? <laughs> Sorry, Over if there's somebody. Agreement. I was just aware that people... I mean, the essence of it is yeah. Working Party has discussed, Working Party, by a margin, agrees the issues that were raised and required of us to be addressed have been addressed. It's clear, although there won't be total consensus and agreement, that this is not a property right issue. So why are we Therefore, rescinding it? Uh, so I'm please. clarifying. So the issue is that we then proceed to enter into the agreement with Greenfleet. So agree to uh, approve the encumbrance yeah. agreement. Uh, Councillor Casey, did you have an amendment? Yeah, well, just so that I feel I can vote for it, I would, I would in support it in principle if the Crown Law Office agrees with the... Subject to. Subject to. I 
think, I think one of the problems that we have is a because time problem um, in relation to this being done, uh, but that is, uh, I, I accept that it would be good to, to have a further opinion, but we can, uh, you know, in relation to future uh, discussions around this, uh, I think we could seek that further advice. I, I'm actually told I can't accept the agreement because uh, the amendment because you can't raise in the amendment after you've already spoken, councillor. So I'd be speak. Uh, well. It, I, I accepted a call from you, councillor. So I didn't and speak. You never 